Don't kill me yet. I am a man. Leave it to me. I want no more exercise like that. Don't. Yes, he's my target. My mind. He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole what was rightly mine. The man who stole my birthright. Me? I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldiers' mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. 
Too bad I was sleeping alone. I'm glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. What if you want her to stay that way? You better start answering my questions right now. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem, then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto-fire, or I'll know. Snake, it's been a long time since you saved your game. Yeah? So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run a high-voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. It happened to me when I played the game the first time. And okay, of course I had no go. save file. And you would not submit. <laughs> I didn't know what he was talking about. Ah! Thought he was talking about reloading. <laughs> uh, so here's a little fun fact. He can't tell if you're using auto fire or not. Shall we go again? He's a bluffer. I didn't think he was the bluffing type, but he is! His right hand would twitch if you were using auto fire. Or maybe he knows, but he just doesn't say anything about it. Had enough yet? He's too polite to make fun of me and my yet. recordings. Can't Naomi use, like, the nano machines to dull his senses or something during this? Turn them off! Every time the time gets longer... ...and the shocks get more powerful! Ocelot... ...did it again! <laughs> <laughs> There's only one option, it's not continue! Exit takes us out to the main menu where we have to load from save instead of a checkpoint. And I have no save file on my memory card. Talk about torture, I gotta play the whole game again. But hey, you got also lot fired. <laughs> Glad you took out another member of Fox out. Two down. Oh, it really has been a long journey. That long road again, I had to travel. All the good times I had. Even the recent memories. <laughs> oh, God. I uh, remember that time when I got shocked the second time.
My thumb is so tired. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? The Les Enfanteries project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. I thought Les Enfants Terribles was a terrorist organization that, like, Shoot Gunner was in. What does Ocelot want? The entire world to turn into the Wild West? <laughs> Liquid's ambition coincides with this. Can you believe it, Snake? Some people haven't seen Once Upon a Time in Mexico. My favorite Western is the Three Amigos. <laughs> Get back on the torture rack. Looks like I got a roommate. The DARPA Jeep? Whew. What a stench. Damn, I caught a cold. That witch, she took my clothes. I took them back. Uh what? It's Johnny Sasaki from the cell. They took our clothes. Snake, that's a prison cell. You can't open the door from the inside. Somehow, you'll have to get the key off the guard. Yeah, but how? Why don't you try disappearing? Yeah, you stealth. Why don't you just reach your hand through the bars and unlock it? I'm disappeared. What the hell are you doing? Snake, are you okay? I've been better. How's Mara? They've got her. Damn. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see... Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. 
It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Arms Tech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. Sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. And of course that dialogue changes if you've submitted to the torture. The proud man does not eat rotting meat even when hungry, nor steal water from another's well when he thirsts. But on the other hand, you were forced to steal or find every item you've got, so I guess I shouldn't say that. Yeah, so let's eat the DARPA chief. <laughs> bon appetit. I haven't eaten in over 30 minutes. Mei Ling. Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Don't say anything to tease or anger the person torturing you. If you make him mad, it'll be that much worse for you. You'll need to save your strength. Save your strength to pick on Johnny. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Are you sure you didn't mean Liquid Snake? <laughs> Snake, don't worry. You'll have a chance to escape. Hang on. Hang on tight to that torture device. I'll take it while you're being electrified. Burst transmission would not be working very well. Okay. I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, shall we begin? Okay, here we go. Snake doesn't so much have abs as pecs that go all the way down his torso. How did you like that? Shall we go again? So every difficulty mode, uh, difficulty level in the game has a different number of shocks you have to endure. The first time it was on easy, so there were only three. Had enough yet? We're not finished yet. I'm going for the high score. <laughs> Still okay. Want me to go on? Can you take one more? But this is on normal mode, so now we have to go through four. The time maxes out when it hits that little box with submit and restore life on it. But the intensity gets stronger every time, so your life decreases faster as time goes on. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. 
He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. I want, like, 15 more revolvers so I can use all of these bullets on my chest at once. Just because you are locked up does not mean there is no chance of escape. Keep your eyes and ears open, and when you see a chance, take it. You should call Campbell and wait for his instructions. I'm pretty sure there's only a chance of escape when you're locked up. <laughs> there's also a chance of no escape. The guard is only human. He has to sleep and go to the bathroom like the rest of us. That'll be your chance. I have to go to the bathroom and sleep right now. You okay, Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him? Knowing that? Yep. How? wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <sighs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. 
we are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Snake, <laughs> you have a predisposition towards diabetes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Why did you know there was a torture machine here? Why didn't you warn me? <laughs> I built it, but they told me it was going to be used for something else. <laughs> they said it was going to be used for toasting the world's giant slice of bread. <laughs> that Johnny, he's known for, uh... Using the restroom. He's an ass man. Snake, you'll get a chance to escape. Make sure you take it. Otacon. I'm headed your way now. Can't you just relax? I am relaxed. I just don't know how to kill time here. Okay. I'll be there as soon as I can. This is all I can do to kill time. Work out my abdominal. Oh, hey, look. Hey, I'm here. Where? <laughs> oh my god, it's a ghost. What are you using the codec for? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see your face in a little bit better resolution. It's me. Otacon. Wow, they even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. It, let me go, that hurts. Hurry up. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell. Because of him. Yeah, it's the Derpa Chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level 6 card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this, too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Huh? Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. You have stealth camouflage. 
You're a science man, you could set up a claymore mine. Alright, so to combine this ketchup and this handkerchief into a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. My favorite. The Italian tomato based. Uh, he also gave us a level 6 card. That's all I can do for you, Snake. Worthless. So, what we can do, no thanks to Otacon, is hide under this bed <sighs> while the guard's not looking. Huh? He's gone! While the guard's not looking is the important part. He will think we escaped, so his first instinct is to unlock the door. Snake, do you like the atmosphere there or something? Hurry up and escape. I was waiting oh. for him to leave! Ah, he's the only guard in the game that knows how to take a knee and shoot under our crawl space. Will Liquid yell at him if he kills you? <laughs> Got it, Suzaki! You did it again! I'm sorry, oh. boss. <laughs> Then he runs to the bathroom. If you get a chance to eat, don't pass it up. A prisoner can't be choosy. You need to get your strength back so you can escape when the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, he's, he's right. Uh, we might not get a chance to escape before the torture. So let's eat the bottle of ketchup. Just pour a whole bottle of ketchup down my fat throat. I don't feel so good. Oops, that in my stomach. Snake. What? It's oh no, you don't want to torture me on the on the stomach full of ketchup. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Okay, here we go. It looks so painful to be supported by your wrists and ankles like that. Like, the way his body doesn't fit in there tight, it looks like he would just fall. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Yeah, I imagine he's leaning forward. Or he's supposed to be leaning forward. Like, the thing is tilted a little bit. Like, his legs should just be able to pop right out of that or go all the way through that. He's standing on his own free will. He's got to prove that he's a strong man. Maybe he's a masochist. We're not finished yet. He's actually supporting himself with all his strength right now to prove that he's a strong man. <laughs> That's why everything's so loose. <laughs> That's why I'm mashing circle. So you don't fall out. You can't actually feel any of this electricity through your rubber gloves and boots. You still okay? Want me to go on? Can you take one more? My health bar is almost full. I can take one more, of course. I've got knee pads on. What do you think? Open up the menu and eat a ration. Where'd you get that? But we're on hard mode now. Make it easy on yourself. One more time. That means five shocks. Can't believe he's taunting me. My item box just off camera. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're a soldier. You should understand. You and I can't continue to live in a world like this. We need tension. Conflict. The world today has become too soft. We are living in an age where true feelings are suppressed. So we're going to shake things up a bit. We'll create a world dripping with tension. A world filled with greed and suspicion, bravery and cowardice. 
You want the same thing that we do. Liquid Snake is the one. He is an incredible man. He is the man who can really make it happen. Notice how they they go off camera for when they get Snake out of that machine. Also, the, uh, why do they have to tilt that back horizontally before they open it? Wouldn't it be easier to grab Snake while it's vertical? You have to put him back to sleep before you can drag him away? Or else he would just beat up? Oh, here's a little glitch you can do. If, where you can crawl on top of the bed. What the hell are you doing? I'm just taking a nap like a normal man. That's a product of his, uh, cold, by the way. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. <sighs> I've been through a lot worse, believe me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're all right. Why don't you contact the colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. You can contact us anytime you're not being electrocuted. The ketchup. You might be able to trick the guard if you use it right. Snake, why don't you use the ketchup and pretend that you're dead? Uh, Let's pretend that I didn't eat it before, and we still had the ketchup. Well, if you just lay down, press the circle button. What are you playing around with that ketchup for? <laughs> <laughs> That's your first thought? No. Why the hell does my prisoner have a bottle of ketchup? <laughs> yeah, it's like, where did the bottle of ketchup come from? The worst magician. Snake, now's your chance to escape. What? <laughs> what? He's he's sleeping. Now it's my chance to escape. That old tried and true. Oh my god, he's vaporized into a puddle of blood. Now this time, I'm going to be ready to run out. Before he sees me. Sucker! Gave him the slip. Looks like you escaped. I'm glad. No thanks to you. Too bad. I thought you'd be able to figure out what my plan was. What are you talking about? I was just lucky that security was careless. <laughs> my plan was to make you eat a whole bottle of ketchup, Snake. It's a prank. Snake, wait a minute. You forgot to take your items. They're probably being kept somewhere close by. Let's check the cell again. Oh, uh, you're you're right. I forgot my puddle of ketchup. Don't want to leave that behind. All the worked a long time to find that bottle. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Normally, when a soldier is taken prisoner, he should only give up the big four. That's name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. But you're not any old soldier, Snake. I don't want you to tell them anything. Fortunately, you're strong enough to resist. I got rank. Snake. <laughs> but you knew that already. It's showtime. That's a lot right. Even Johnny Sasaki knows my rank. They're not even asking me to tell them anything. Okay, <laughs> I'll tell you once more. He's just torturing me, cuz. Repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, just to see if you're a strong man. Button to submit. To when see if I'll give up the life of Meryl to save my own. Over. There are no Go on, ask me a question. Way. Come on. Okay, snake. Here we go. My rank is snake. <laughs> That first round's not so bad. I didn't lose any health at all. How did you like that? That was great. I love it. Shall we go again? With all those sparks, you would think maybe it would jump somewhere else. It does not look safe for the equipment at all. 
<laughs> That's my plan. I'm trying to thrust my hips out and electrocute Ocelot. Had enough yet? We're not finished yet. What's the point of this damn machine outside of torturing people? Why was this on Shadow Moses? For research. This is this room is the medical room. Is there a medical procedure that just electrocutes somebody? You still okay? Uh, electrotherapy. Can you take one more? Was Shadow Moses one of those pray the gay away camps? <laughs> Notice they don't refer to the president by name. Make it easy on yourself. One more time. For God's sake, Snake, just unclench your fist, you can slide right out. Stubborn. We're on extreme difficulty now. Come on. You don't want to die like this, do you? I could do this all day. No, you can't. Extreme difficulty. He does it all day. He's gonna get fired. He does it for the next 10 hours until the deadline is reached and then a nuke is fired. That's it. It's a joke difficulty. I was mashing as hard as I could and I barely survived it. Well, that's enough for now, I think. Campbell chimes in. Excellent, Snake. Speaking of torture, in order to record all the difficulties uh, getting electrocuted, I had to play it through the game four times in one day. Well, I didn't have to do it in one day, but I did it. Because I'm a strong man. Did you use the ketchup? It took me a long time to find that. It's exactly the right color and consistency, too. Use it wisely, okay? Let's pretend I didn't screw up with the ketchup last time. Mmm, ketchup. <laughs> yeah, I'm knocking on your back door. Snake, now's your chance. Take it. Get out of there. Master, the door's locked. This <laughs> is... I forgot. So, the trick is to use the ketchup while the guard's not looking at you, use the ketchup. And then just lie there, propped up on your arms. Not like a dead body at all. Oh my god! You weren't really covered in ketchup at all. Let's drag him back to the ketchup stain and, uh... If you knock him out with punches, he falls on his ass because that's how he gets knocked out. Great job with the guard, Snake. Now's your chance to escape. I plan on it. Next time I meet Ocelot, it's gonna be on my terms. How do you feel, Snake? Can you go on? Yeah, don't worry. That sadist can't keep me down. Can you go on one more time? <laughs> so, you figured out what I had in mind, huh? I can't believe it actually worked. <laughs> one more time. Come on, give me another round. I'm good for it. I'm gonna drain their funds. Come on, Snake. The electric It'll bill. be easier on you if a different difficulty. Snake, what happened to your items? You're not gonna try to finish this mission barehanded, are you? Get your items. Nah. I think finishing this mission barehanded sounds pretty cool, as a matter of fact. Snake, be careful. They've set up new gun cameras and increased their patrols. They don't want you to get away. You can either destroy them with a grenade, or jam them with your chaff. 
You won't be able to get on the elevator unless you disable those gun cameras. First, you've got to retrieve your items. No. Oh. I, get, I got this. I'm just got it. Oh no, the elevator doesn't work. I left the second most embarrassing corpse. And I think you know what that means. Oh yeah, baby. Once you give up hope, it's all over. That's when you can't do anything right. Despair leads to death, you know. I was out. I was a free man. Not again. They won't even let me climb onto the bed to cry into my pillow. What are you doing? Now's your chance to get out of there, Snake. But how? I've already used the bed and the ketchup method twice. What is that blood all over my sheet? The Darpa Chiefs? He gets shocked that he's not escaped. I made it so easy for him. Snake's just breathing deeply trying to catch that cold. It's the only way out. So if you don't use the ketchup bottle, can you keep it on you for the rest of the game? No, it gets removed when you pick up your items. Oh. Or else I would have done that, and I would have stayed uh, bare-chested by not picking up my item box. I'll just go around and collect all my stuff again. I'm sure there's copies of it somewhere. My dim in those lights is like torture. It's like a sauna in here. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. This time I think I'll switch it up and do a little nipple play. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Can't handle it. That really hurt. Had enough. So, you're human after all. The torture will stop as I promised. But I'll take the woman in return. I'll have my fun with her when I kill her. Meryl. I hope you can still look at yourself in the mirror, my friend. I've turned you into a vampire. So does that actually kill Meryl? Yeah. Oh. Or is he bluffing? Multiple landings! I need to pay my pittance. Mei Ling, you must think I'm garbage. Snake, don't blame yourself too much. You just... I just let them kill Meryl to save my own worthless hide. Listen, in China they have a saying. Um... Uh... Forget it. I'll use my own words this time. Cheer up, Snake. Don't listen to what he said. It's nothing but a bluff. I'm sure about that. I don't think he's the bluffing type. But Snake, you have a job to do. Pull yourself together for the world's sake. First, you've got to figure out how to get out of there. Snake, listen to me. You... You've got to pull yourself together and get back to work. Thanks, Mei Ling. 
You also haven't saved in a while. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that now, Mei Ling. Master, I... Don't say it, Snake. You still have a mission to accomplish. That's all you should be concentrating on right now. Mission success. What's that spooky sound effect? Otacon, are you there? What is it? Was that you who opened the door just now? What are you talking about? So it wasn't you, which means that... The door is open, right? You've got to get out of there now! You're right. <laughs> no! <laughs> the ninja... Yeah, uh, Johnny's not gonna like this, huh? Better hide under the bed. <laughs> oh my god, the <laughs> ultimate trick. Hey! It's no fair, I'm unarmed. <laughs> Just get a little bit closer and open this door for me, thank you. Is it If you lure him into this room, you don't actually have to fight him. I don't know how, but the door is open. I saw the silhouette of someone in stealth camis. Stealth camouflage? Could it be Emmerich? No, I don't think it was Otacon. So who then? You don't think it could be Gray Fox? Yeah, I do. I think it was. You saying that he came to save his friend? Could be. Or maybe he just doesn't want me to die in a prison cell. I don't know. I can't imagine what he could be thinking. Snake, you can worry about it later. Now's the time to escape. Oh, Suzaki's dot is in there though. It's occupied. What about your equipment? You are not going to leave behind everything you've collected, are you? Hurry, grab your stuff. <laughs> I've made that mistake once before. Let's see, what did I forget back here? Those maggots, I think, were mine? If you're looking for your items, they're near where you were being tortured. Why don't you go get them? If you knew that, why didn't you just bring them to me? The guard was scary. The, the guard was the least scary person on this aisle. Listen to the horror. Shut up out there! <laughs> Shut up out there, will you? He's locked in there forever now. It's permanently says occupy. Oh, snakes items. Warning! Snakes items. Be careful. Don't touch them. <laughs> now that you've got your stuff back, you should take a good look through it. If you're slow equipping an item in battle, it could mean death. The gang's all here. Better take some diazepam. <laughs> well, brilliant. Now, let's, uh, see how this electricity holds up against my rubber sneaking suit. Snake! In Paradise Lost, Milton wrote, Solitude sometimes is best society, and short retirement urges sweet return. Is that why you came back, Snake? You got tired of your short retirement in Alaska, huh? No, oh, I need a vacation now. Talk about some torture. 